Hello, and welcome to our Zanata Consulting Beginner Series. This one, again, is on CRM, and this is something we get asked to do a lot, which is how do I import leads, contacts, accounts, anything into the CRM, and how do I do it properly? I'm Brett Martin from Zanata Consulting. And I'm Tyler Colt. And before we jump on in here, I do want to ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to subscribe and like down below. That really helps us out and will help you see our future videos as we put those out. Um, so with that, let's get right into it here. So for our demo, we're going to actually run an import to the leads module. As we'll see in our demo account, we've got nothing in here. So we're starting with a nice clean slate. Um, over on the side here, I do have a little demo Excel file of some leads. Uh, they've got some various info here, like the website of their company, you know, lead status, industry, really the core stuff that you really need to have in order to get leads imported that are worth having is at least a first, last, and email. You really do want the company as well, unless you're not really doing any business to business, then that might not be as necessary. But you know, this spreadsheet here does kind of contain, you know, what we would say is baseline data to get going. Some people might not care about an address. You might not really be a physical company and that doesn't matter. But you know, this stuff is a good starting point to get an idea of who these people are um, and where they work and how to get in touch with them. Yeah, and if you're going to import a lot of data, it's kind of important that you take a look at this spreadsheet before the import. Make sure that the first name's capitalized, the last name's capitalized, mm -hmm. all that kind of little stuff. And there are a lot of great tools out there. You do a simple Google search. You'll find some great tools that can set your data proper is the mm -hmm. term we like to use where, you know, it's going to do proper case, proper settings, uh, make sure their email addresses are correct. All of those kind of things. Uh, you know, one of the big problems we see is people are just importing kind of junk data and there's no reason to do that. It's a heck of a lot easier to clean everything up on the spreadsheet ahead of time. So, mm -hmm. you know, take some time, clean up your spreadsheet. There are even things that will dedupe your spreadsheet for you. There's, there's a lot of great little tools out there you can find that will help you do that. So make sure that you've got a clean spreadsheet before you start your import. It will definitely make life a lot easier for you down the line. Um, so with that here, I'll go ahead and jump back over to the CRM and we can go ahead and run our import. So there's two ways to do an import into Zoho. If you want to import just in the one module, you can go into that particular module and under the little drop down here, go to import leads. The other way is under settings and then under the data admi administration, you can do an import here. Um, they work essentially the same. This tool is kind of more built for doing data migrations. So if you had like four or five different spreadsheets, you wanted to load them all in at once and map them all out and the connections between them, you may want to use this tool and go to this other CRM and upload some files. For nine times out of 10, um, imports go just as smooth, kind of going module by module this way. Um, so that's the way we're going to show today. So to get going, we'll go ahead and open up this import leads. It's going to ask us for a file here. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag in our CSV. A couple notes here. Um, if you're importing a lot of data at once, you want to have it on a CSV. It's going to increase the limit that you have available to import. Um, so here we'll go ahead and go next. Now, this first setting is pretty important. Um, you're basically being asked, do you want to only create new records? Do you want to only update existing records or do you want to do both? And then based on your answer, how should we determine what already exists? So nine times out of 10 for leads, you're going to be looking at email. Um, lead ID here is the Zoho ID. So if you exported your data, cleaned it up, and then wanted to re-import it, you'd want to use that lead ID. Otherwise, you can use the email address. In this case, we know there's nothing in leads. So there wouldn't be any need to run it based on both, but I will nonetheless, just because that's generally what we're doing when we're running imports is a create it's kind of the best update. practice, really the best yeah. practice, because otherwise you're going to end up with a lot of duplicates down the road or can. Yep. And now there is this little checkbox here for don't update empty values for existing leads. It's kind of weirdly worded, but what it's saying is if this box is checked and you had a phone number in the CRM, and not in the spreadsheet, it's going to keep the phone number in the CRM. 
So you almost always just want to leave this box checked unless you're looking to do a full reset where you're saying, I don't trust any of the data in the CRM. If it's not in this spreadsheet, I don't want it. Then you might want to uncheck that. But generally speaking, just leave it as its default setting. And so now basically what it's asking us to do here is line up the columns in our file with the fields in the CRM where we want to put them. Um, as I look down, it's if you have an exact name that matches, it's going to do this for you. Um, otherwise, you can have it apply auto mapping and it will do its best. You always want to give this a double check just to be extra safe because you don't want to miss anything on your way in. Now, a couple of things I noticed here is I had a column for lead owner that had a name. Um, that wouldn't really work here to map to the lead owner field. I'm either going to need a user ID or their email. So I'll go ahead and unmap that for now. That's basically going to assign it as the, um, if it's unmapped, it's going to just own or get owned by whoever did the import. I also do see here though, I have a lead owner ID. So I could use that and just go ahead and assign it. Um, for our little demo account, this really doesn't matter either way because there aren't that many users. But as you'll see, basically down the list, you can go line by line and just make sure that the field in your file matches the field in the CRM. Um, a couple little tips that you can do here. If you want to assign a value that's the same for every single row, um, you can actually do that in the tool. So a common one I see here is maybe you want to add a tag and all of these should be tagged as, you know, Jan. You know, you have some type of tag here that you want to just apply to every single one of these leads. You can do those in bulk. This will oftentimes get used for like lead source, right? I know this spreadsheet came from this conference or lead status, right? I know all of these are new, but I don't want to add a column to the spreadsheet just to say new for every single row. Um, so you can set a lot of default values here. Um, and lastly, there are a couple extra little tips here. So you might find that maybe some of your leads don't have a title, right? So, and you want to say if any of them don't have a title, call them unknown, right? I mean, these don't always add a ton of value to do things like this, but you can set these defaults. Um, maybe it makes it easier for you to find them later. Or one that we oftentimes will see is if we don't know a lead source, let's call them organic, right? Or call them inbound, right? And say that that's probably where they came from if it's not specified. Um, last little tip, you generally wanna create all your fields first before you do an import. But if you do forget that one little field on the side, you can go ahead and create a new field for anything that is missing or not mapped yet and tell it what type of field that should be. Um, again, it's really best to do that through the standard modules and fields and kind of define things that way. But if you did forget and you've got that one little extra date that you just want to add in while you do this, um, you can go ahead and do it that way. Lastly here, we'll go ahead and continue. It is letting us know that some of our fields aren't mapped, but that's not a big deal. We kind of expected that with some of those system fields in the spreadsheet. Now, the last little settings here are about what happens after the import is done. Um, if you have assignment rules set up, you can actually choose to assign them based on those rules. Here it's saying, hey, you've actually mapped lead owner in the file. Are you sure you want to overwrite what you had in the file with this um, rule? It's a pretty nice little pop up. Maybe we realize, ah, let's leave it how it is and actually turn that off. Um, the other little checkbox here is an important one. If you want to trigger workflows, once the lead is created, you'll want to check this box. So maybe every lead that gets created assigns a task to whoever owns it, right? And I want all that to happen the same as if they came in through a web form or were manually entered. I can check that box. If I don't have that checked, I can just define that we want to make a task for every single lead imported um, using this last little uh, widget here. With that, I'll go ahead and finish the import and it will run that here. And then we will take this thing out of the oven for you once it's done baking and show you how it'll look in the CRM. Alrighty, so now our import is done here. We'll see Zoho gives us a little pop-up letting us know that the import is completed. Um, we went ahead and refreshed the page and now we've got all of our leads here in the CRM. 
So we'll see that all of our data gets mapped in properly to all of the various fields. And then each one of these leads has our task to follow up based on the decision that we made there at the tail end of the import. Um, now, this view is only just showing some of the data, of course, within the record, all of the rest of it will be here that isn't included in that list view. Um, and now you've got your data where you need it, ready to start doing your outbound out of the CRM. All right, and as always, thank you so much for watching. If you did find this content useful, please be sure to subscribe and like down below. That really helps us out and it makes sure that you will see our future videos as we continue to make ones uh, that are helpful and useful like this one. All righty, well, thank you again for watching and have a good rest of your day.